Over the past few months, there's been a few videos showing how to create multiple folders at once by using a batch script or a .bat file. Unfortunately, these methods have quite a few manual steps and actually, I believe we have a much better way as Excel users. So in this video, we're gonna work through a project and create an automation tool ourselves that will automate the creation of multiple folders at once. So if you're ready, let's get started with our project. So here we are, I've got Excel on the left, I've got the Visual Basic Editor top right. If you haven't got that open, press Alt and F11 and that will open up the Visual Basic Editor. And then I have my folder that we're going to create our multiple folders in. Now the first thing we want to do is to write a macro that creates a single folder. So I'm going to click on the name of my workbook and then go to Insert and Create a New Module. You see that's been created and called Module 1. Now we're going to write the macro. I'm going to start the word sub, or macro start the word sub, and our macro is going to be called create folders. Open bracket, close bracket. When I press return, it will automatically insert the end sub statement. So we want to insert all of our code between the sub and the end sub. Now we want to use the make directory command, which is mkdir. I'll enter a space, and then I've already copied the folder path that we want to use. And that's it, that's all we have to do. When we click the run button, we should see that our 2024 folder has now been created. Unfortunately, if we try and run our macro again, we will get an error. So runtime error 75, path file access error. And that's because our folder already exists. So it can't make a folder which is already there. So for this, we're going to use on error resume next. So that means that if an error occurs, our code will keep executing. And then at the end, on error go to zero. What this does is that it then resets our error check. So here it will continue if it finds any errors and then we turn this back off. So therefore, if there's any errors, VBA will then display. So that means that when we run this code, we don't get any errors, even though that folder already exists. At the moment, our code is not dynamic at all. It has a hard coded file path. So let's change this for selection. This means it will pick up the value from whatever the selected cell is. Now I've already deleted my 2024 folder but I'll click on my cell that contains the file path that I want to use. And then when I come to VBA and click run, it will now create a path based on the selected cell. In Excel, I've now created the list of all the folders that we want to create. Now at present, our macro only runs on a selection, so per cell basis. What we want to do is to look at our selection and create a folder for every cell in that selection. So let's come across to our Visual Basic Editor and we'll create a variable, dim C as range. So C is gonna represent a cell. And then we're going to use for each C in selection. So for every cell in our selection, we want to make the directory for C. Then we can use next C. So what this will do is loop through and for each cell in our selection, it will make the directory based on the value in C. So I've got my cell selected. Let's now run this macro. Now, because our first macro or our first folder was to create 2024, that was already there. So we haven't seen any changes, but when we go into there, we get our period two folder. And when we go into period two, we now see that we have accounts, accounts payable, payroll and stock. And if we go into accounts, you see we also have our flash journals and management accounts. So that's how we can create multiple folders inside Excel based on our selection. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could have a button on the face of our worksheet that then ran this macro for us? Well, that's what we're going to do. From the insert ribbon, from the illustration section, I'm going to use the icons library. You could also just use a shape if that's your preference. Let's search for the play button. We'll select that, click insert. 
And then we now have our shape. Let's place that over there, resize it. I'll right click and then go to assign macro. So our macro is called create folders. I'll select that and then click OK. Now you may have noticed that each of our folder paths are based on these cell values. So if we want to create the folders for 2025, and then let's say the month is, or period number is 01, all we have to do is change those. These values change. We select the folders that we want to create, and then we run our macro. And you'll see there's 2025, and inside there you can see period 01, and then all of those subfolders in there. So we've now just created our folder making application. We create all the folder paths that we want. And if we use parameters in there using cell values, all we have to do is change those cell values and click run. And we now have our own automation tool. And that's it. Save your workbook as a .xlsm, which is a macro enabled workbook. And anytime you want to create folders in bulk, you can do that using that tool. Now, one of the things that we love at Excel for the Grid is automating Excel. And that's why we have a training course that features entirely on how we automate Excel, the different tools and frameworks that we need to use to get the best results as fast as possible. So if this video has interested you, why not head over to excelforthegrid.com forward slash academy and check out all of our training courses. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.